Have you ever wondered what's really out there in the vast expanse of space? Tonight, we unravel a mystery that might change everything we know about the cosmos. Today we're diving deep into a cosmic controversy that has everyone talking. NASA's International Space Station, ISS, shut down its live feed after something mysterious appeared. Was it extraterrestrial life? A UFO? Buckle up. Because we're about to explore why NASA cut the feed and what they found that has conspiracy theorists in an uproar. In a relentless pursuit to expand our knowledge of the cosmos. Scientists have deployed countless machines and satellites into space. One such satellite. Crucial to our understanding of the universe. Recently shut down under mysterious circumstances after capturing something extraordinary. The ISS, a marvel of human engineering, has been orbiting Earth, sending back stunning visuals and vital data. But recently, the live feed showed something unusual, a faint light descending towards Earth, halting suddenly mid-fall. The feed cut out abruptly, leaving everyone in suspense. This unexpected event has sparked widespread curiosity and speculation. The faint light, captured briefly before the feed was lost, has led to numerous theories ranging from mundane explanations such as a reflection or lens flare, to more extraordinary possibilities, including unidentified flying objects, UFOs, or other unexplained atmospheric phenomena. The sudden interruption of the feed has only fueled these speculations, as viewers and researchers alike seek answers. NASA and other space agencies monitor the ISS live feed to provide real-time data and imagery for scientific research and public engagement. Occasionally, Glitches and interruptions in the feed do occur due to technical issues or the need to switch between cameras. However, the timing of this particular incident, coupled with the unusual sighting, has heightened interest and concern. Experts are now analyzing the footage to determine the nature of the light and the cause of the feed interruption. They are considering various factors, including orbital debris, natural atmospheric phenomena, and potential technical anomalies with the camera or transmission systems. While the investigation continues, the incident serves as a reminder of the vast unknowns that space exploration still holds and the persistent allure of the mysteries beyond our planet. Conspiracy theorists quickly jumped on the incident, speculating that NASA was hiding evidence of a UFO. Some suggested it might be space debris or even the vacant Chinese space station, Tiangong-1. Others posited it was a meteor. The sudden feed cut only fueled these theories. NASA responded, insisting the object was likely space junk or a lens reflection. They emphasized there was no alien spacecraft and no need for panic. According to NASA spokesperson Daniel Hewitt, the interruption was due to a loss of signal, not a cover-up. This incident reignites the debate about the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life. With scientists now more open to exploring these possibilities, every unexplained sighting fuels speculation. Add to this the sightings near CERN's Large Hadron Collider, and the mystery deepens. Our journey doesn't stop at UFOs. We delve into NASA's latest discoveries, including the identification of a super-Earth and a long-lost satellite. The super-Earth, Toy 715b, orbits a red dwarf star and lies within the habitable zone, making it a prime candidate for life. This discovery is particularly exciting as it adds to the growing list of exoplanets that could potentially support life. Toy 715b's position within the habitable zone means it is at the right distance from its star to possibly have liquid water on its surface, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Further studies and observations will be needed to determine its atmosphere and surface conditions, which will help scientists assess its true habitability. We also explore the rediscovery of NASA's image satellite, lost for over a decade. The imager for magnetopause to Aurora Global Exploration image, satellite was originally launched in 2000 to study Earth's magnetosphere. It provided unprecedented data on the dynamics of the magnetosphere, helping scientists understand how solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field. However, contact was lost in 2005, and the satellite was presumed to be defunct. Remarkably, in 2018, an amateur astronomer rediscovered image, and NASA confirmed the find. 
Efforts are now underway to potentially revive the satellite. If successful, IMAGE could once again provide valuable data, shedding new light on space weather phenomena and the behavior of Earth's magnetosphere. These discoveries underscore the ever-evolving nature of space exploration. Each new finding, whether it be an exoplanet with potential for life or the revival of a long-lost satellite, expands our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The quest for knowledge drives us to look beyond our current horizons, continuously pushing the boundaries of what we know and can achieve. As we marvel at these discoveries, we must also consider the future. The International Space Station, ISS, a cornerstone of scientific research and international cooperation in space, faces potential decommissioning in the 2030s. For over two decades, the ISS has been a hub for groundbreaking experiments in microgravity, advancing our understanding in fields such as biology, physics, astronomy, and materials science. However, as it ages, the conversation about its successor becomes increasingly urgent. NASA, along with its international partners, plans to transition its operations to commercial space stations. This strategic move aims to sustain the continuous human presence in low Earth orbit, LEO, and expand the possibilities for scientific research and technological development. Several private companies, including Axiom Space, Blue Origin, and Sierra Space, are already working on developing commercial space stations. These platforms are expected to host a wide range of activities, from research and manufacturing to tourism and even entertainment. However, the transition from the ISS to commercial space stations poses significant challenges. Developing and maintaining space stations is an expensive endeavor. The ISS itself cost over $150 billion to build and operate. Ensuring sufficient investment for new commercial stations will require a robust business model that attracts both governmental and private sector funding. NASA's commercial LEO development program aims to provide some initial support, but sustained investment will be crucial. Building a space station involves overcoming numerous technical challenges. These include ensuring the structural integrity of the station, developing life support systems, and creating reliable transportation to and from the station. Additionally, the integration of new technology and systems that can operate seamlessly with existing space infrastructure is vital. Commercial space stations will need to meet stringent regulatory requirements and safety standards to protect the lives of astronauts and space tourists. Establishing a clear and comprehensive regulatory framework is essential for the success of commercial space endeavors. The ISS has been a symbol of international collaboration, with contributions from NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA. Transitioning to commercial stations will require new frameworks for international partnerships, ensuring that scientific collaboration and geopolitical cooperation continue to thrive. Long-term sustainability of space stations will depend on reliable supply chains for delivering essential goods such as food, water, and scientific equipment. Developing efficient logistics and supply chain management systems will be crucial for the operational success of these stations. Maintaining public interest and political support for space exploration is essential. Advocacy for the benefits of space research, ranging from technological innovations to potential economic gains, will play a key role in securing the necessary backing for these ambitious projects. Despite these challenges, the transition to commercial space stations represents an exciting opportunity to further democratize access to space, stimulate economic growth and continue the legacy of the ISS in advancing human knowledge and capabilities. As NASA and private companies work together, this next chapter in space exploration promises to open new frontiers and inspire future generations. As we continue to explore the final frontier, each discovery, each mystery brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. Whether it's a UFO sighting, a new exoplanet, or an ancient satellite, the quest for knowledge drives us forward. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things space. Until next time, keep looking up, the proof is out there.